it won't sit like this because it's plugged in. Oh, I guess it will. Yeah. <sighs> I feel like I need to sit on the bed now because it's like too far. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Just here playing some games. You can't actually see what I'm doing on the screen because I'm bad at streaming. Hello everyone. Thanks for coming to my stream. I'm doing really good today. I slept through what was supposed to be my stream earlier because I stayed up all night. Watching you. <laughs> Peggy, it's Peggle, yes. I should have done YouTube. Oh, I'm so sorry. Next time I'll stream on YouTube. I just don't really have the setup to stream on YouTube. It's like a little more complicated. I'm playing Peggle. Hi, Dad. Hey, what's up? I'm doing really bad right now because I'm like trying to read the comments. Ah! Yeah, I lost. Hello, everyone. Say hi, Courtney, please. Hi, Courtney. Aw, thanks for the likes, guys. Thanks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a new level. Am I allowed to add you on Xbox? This is not my Xbox. What's your gamer tag? Bama Jamma 70. It's Bama Jamma 70. Ah, oh, thank you for the bars. Oh, is there any, there, there will be, there will be some tea guys. Some. But not yet. We're just trying to have some fun and live my life. <laughs> I'm doing so ah, <laughs> thank you for the likes, guys. I'm playing Peggle. It's like uncomfortable. I'm like too small here and too big on the other side. Cool wall. Thanks. I did this all myself. There's like two missing right there because they fell off. But yeah, I did this all myself. There's like it continues that way. But I didn't finish this side yet. How's life going? Really good. Can't be your top fan tonight. But can you pose for a chair? <laughs> this is my pose! That's all I had. I'm number one. Yes! Thanks, Squizzles, for being my number one fan. Thanks for inviting your fans also. You playing as Norman? I love that you guys know. <laughs> Just by the sounds, you can tell what I'm doing. I love that. Oh my god, thank you for the likes! Oh my gosh, thank you so much. What's going on? Wow, we've got 3,000 likes in here already. That's a lot. Dang, guys, you're killing me. Hello from Germany. Hello from America. So, there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on on the internet. I don't know if you know about these, uh, these people. I don't know if you've heard. From Swampy, Florida. Did you know that I have a little sister whose middle name is Bayou? Fun fact of the day. Thanks for becoming a fan. Thank you for the likes. I really think whenever my mom decided to name her, like give her the middle name Bayou, I actually really hated it. I was like, why are you going to name her after a swamp? I was really mad that she would do that to her. But now I think it's cute. I changed, changed my mind a little bit. Hello from the UK at one in the morning. Oh my goodness, girl, go to sleep. Oh wait, that's not it. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, <laughs> I know you. I said girl, but I'm just not a girl. What did my mom get Ayala from? So it's actually a very typical Hebrew name. Um, my, all my mom did was add an L to it um, because everybody in her family has like repeating letters because my grandma's from finland so my mom's name is tina but with two eyes um so whenever she named me ayala she wanted me to have a repeating letter so she put two l's in it but that's why she calls me ayaya because in spanish a double l <laughs> a double l what is that a double l is uh yeah so she calls me ayaya which is how i teach people to say my name because a lot of people can't pronounce it they think it's like ayala or Ayala or whatever, I don't know what they say, but 
I pretty much respond to anything that sounds like my name, but the real way to say it is Ayala. <sighs> You, you my Jewish sis. A, I am Jewish. Fun fact of the day. Your pinup pages are gorgeous. Thank you. Give them the spotlight for a minute. Are we going to finish him? He's on his last leg. So, to be honest, I feel like with everybody speaking out about their own stories, uh, it's pretty much already finished. And clearly, we all know he tried to go on that crazy smear campaign, essentially turning all the accusations against him, against me, um, which, I mean, was pretty nuts, but if you watch it, it's pretty obvious what he was trying to do, so. Thank you for the 500 likes! Oh my goodness. How many likes are in this? There's almost 5,000 likes in this stream. That's crazy. Oh jeez. Should I slap him with an onion? Uh, we don't support violence in this community. Uh, he outed someone's sexual assault after a few came out. Yep. Well, Greg actually, um, made sort of an underhanded joke in a video about something that he very vaguely knows about me. Um, and it seemed like he was just trying to let me know that there was more about me that he knew that he could talk about. Um which he, you know, has brought up before over email asking me about, you know, like the abuse that I suffered in my past. And I told him that it all wasn't true because he, you know, was clearly doing it to try to use it against me. And I am not going to be blackmailed by the things that I've already been through in my life. Like, that's pretty, pretty nuts to assume that that would silence me. I mean, I've never been quiet about what I've been through in my life, so it's just a little nutty, but he does very clearly dig up people's pasts and look for abuse to try to use it against them, because a lot of people aren't comfortable with having their abuse stories public, um, and I'm not really afraid of stuff like that. I feel like I've always been pretty open with my following, so that does not scare me. I got a big part, guys. What am I even trying to do in this level? I don't even know. Oh my goodness. You're number one? Oh my god, we're number one. Crazy. Have you come out with your trauma? He's got nothing against you. Yeah, I, um, I actually spoke to my mom about it because I didn't really know what to do if he does ever decide to try to like publicly smear me for getting abused as a child. I don't really know what the right course of action is. And my mom just said, have you ever seen Eight Mile? You know, if there's anything you think he's gonna throw at you, just throw it out first and he's got nothing. And I feel like in a lot of ways she's right. Um, though I was never really quiet about it before. What happened when you were caught sneaking out? He just tried to convince us to stay. Um, but it was pretty evident at the time that that was not a situation we needed to be in. He thinks that because he shares way too much that no one else should have boundaries. Um, I believe that he overshares about himself because he gets some sort of validation from it, but he is very aware that people have boundaries and I think that that's why he does it. Um, so he can say that he thinks that everybody should be open, but it's not typical for everybody to put, you know, everybody, like, their, everything that's ever happened to them on the internet. I mean, I haven't talked about, you know, every single thing that's ever happened to me in my whole life. Um, I talk about the important things. I've talked about, you know, mental health issues. I've talked about fear. I've talked about a lot of different things, so. Sorry, I'm distracted. I'm literally losing. I'm not doing good at all. It's interesting how the youngest person involved in the situation is being the most. Ooh. How do I spell the game? Peggle? It's P E G G L E, I believe. <laughs> he needs to have basic respect in the first place. That is true. I mean, he has 
gone out of his way to try to out a lot of people for things that they didn't want public um, so that they would stop uh, coming out and speaking about the things that he has done. Um, and clearly it's not working. Um, and I've been in contact with a lot of the girls who um, suffered from some of these situations. And it's not really working on them either. And I'm so glad for that because I can tell you from the first time that he went on a crazy smear campaign about me, it was terrifying. And I had no idea what to do. I mean, I posted a video crying on the internet because I had asked him so many times privately to stop speaking about me and stop using my name and my face and everything like that. Um, and he does not respect boundaries. He does not respect people's privacy. He will post your deepest, darkest secrets if he has to, to try to make you look bad. And for me, you know, my deepest, darkest secrets aren't even bad things that I've done or bad things that have happened to me. And um, I really feel like I might be, you know, it might be a better idea to just come out and speak about what happened to me as a kid before he tries to use it against me, which I don't even know how he would try to do that or how he would try to spin it to make me look bad because I don't think that you should ever blame a child for being abused. It's clearly not their fault, but <sighs> he's quite the sunshine, isn't he? Yeah. Did he ever use uh, publicity as a threat? Um, so he doesn't ever say specifically that he's going to do things like that. Um, I think that he just does it. Um, and I... Um, and it's typically whenever he feels that he is losing power in a situation or he does not have control over a situation, he will do things like that. Yeah, he talks a lot about how he's getting death threats now because of everything that's going on. Um, and it's actually... Uh, a classic manipulation tactic to try to play the victim and deflect blame whenever you are caught up in something. Um, um, he wants to humiliate you so you can stop talking about him. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, I, pretty, I was very aware of what he was doing even the first time when him and my best friend uh, didn't work out. Um, well, him and Lainey and my best friend um, didn't work out and he went on this crazy campaign to try to make us both look awful because he knew that we were very aware of all of the crazy things that he did and requested. Um, what does Billy think about you? Really, there's probably more to that. Billy's my best friend. She loves me. Um, okay. Oh, these comments are coming fast. Um, what did you mean? Ah! What did you mean last time when you said he's very different online versus offline? So, in person, um, I would say he's he's very charismatic. Um, which is. I think very different from how he is online. It's um, a little more, I think, cold online. It's a little more calculated. Um, and he does post things for a purpose online, whereas in person he just uh, uses a specific way of speaking um, to get what he wants. So it doesn't take as much effort in real life to do the things that he does. Because he verbally and psychologically abused these girls. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's actually pretty scary to see the way that he goes about things. Um, because he does pretty much all of the typical um, manipulation tactics where he starts off with very positive reinforcement and love bombing. Um, and slowly but surely, he um, will sort of take away those things or he will... Um, sort of mistreat you if you're not acting the way that he wants. He will threaten to send you home or take things away or um, 
a lot of different things. He will insult you if you are not acting the way that he wants. He will clearly publicly humiliate you um, if you're not behaving in a way that he finds acceptable. <sighs> Do you think that the judicial system is going to be able to make a case against him and Amy? So, in... From what I have seen, Greg is very careful to make sure that he skims that legal line um, so that he will not get in any legal trouble. He's very um, tactical about the way that he does these things um, so that legally there's nothing you can do. Like I can tell you a hundred times a day that he's morally corrupt and you know he gets into people's heads and it's it's scary to be honest but he works very very hard to make sure that he will get away with these things um and that's why i felt like um saying something publicly was you know really one of the best things that i could do because you know even if everything he's doing is not against the law per se that doesn't mean that it's morally right or that people should not know that he's doing these things to young women. And it's not, you know, young women out there should have access to the information that he will manipulate his way into getting you to do things that you would have never done or say things that you would have never said before. Um, and yeah. Um, is the same? Okay. Oh my goodness, sorry. These comments are coming so fast. Try and crash. Yeah. Please go to sleep. It's 1 a.m. Private life drama. He was a horrible person to his fans. How do you feel about him? Okay, so I didn't ever try to sleep with that young woman. Um, I think I've made that pretty clear. It was clearly a defense tactic to try to sort of deflect blame onto someone else. Um, but I was 19 years old at the time. I was also a teenager. Um, and he clearly tried to paint me as this, you know, horrible pervert. Um, and I didn't ever try anything with her. Um, but I was also a teenager at the time, which in, has no comparison to a 33 year old man, you know, or a 25 year old woman, you know, doing similar things. Um, and I know he tried really, really hard to make it look like I was this awful person. Um, and I'm sure it's pretty obvious, like, how he did it and why he did it. Um, and I'm actually very glad that people can, you know, understand that I'm not that kind of person. Sorry, I'm like, just jacked my wing, just zoned out into my game. Um, my team is so young. He tries to punish these girls for acting the ways he deems disrespect. That's true. He once threatened to send um, the young woman that was discussed before and also Billy home because they wouldn't babysit his children. So... It's pretty crazy. Does he restrict everyone from seeing your family? He did ask um, one of these girls to not contact their family for an entire year and move in with him and have no contact with um, anybody from you know, where she lived, including myself. So he does go through and use isolation as another tactic to keep these girls, um, to keep these girls, you know, within his grasp. All of it's kind of messed up. It's just, I know that they skim the legal line and everybody says go to the police, but I, you know, 
I plan on talking to the police and bringing them all of this information, um, but they are very careful about whether or not they break the law um, so that even if, you know, this all comes out one day and people realize what he's been doing to these women, that he can't actually go to jail, it would just ruin his YouTube. Um, but it's pretty... <sighs> It's just the whole thing is messy. Let the police decide what to do. Right, and I do plan on, I'm actually not in my hometown right now, um, which is the only reason I haven't gone to the police yet, um, but I will be going back tomorrow. Um, but I plan on going to the police and sort of giving them um, all of the information that I have and ask them what I should do about it, about you know the videos he's made about me, painting me as a pervert, and about all of these things that he's doing to these young women, because he's clearly got, um, a, a pattern. There's clearly a very, like, evident way that he goes about things. Um, but I've been doing research to try to understand a little better uh, how he does these things um, because it's scary and it's important that you can recognize the things that he does um, or the things that anybody like that will do. Um, the game is annoying and distracting as fuck. Well, I came here to play video games. I didn't come here for just tea. I wanted to play, so listen to it or leave, bruh. That's how it is. Um, I'm going to go into detail about him getting mad at the two girls not wanting to babysit. Um, that's those are the details that I have that they were not doing an adequate enough job to babysit, so he threatened to send them both home. <laughs> Has Greg tried to contact you since the last vo voicemail? Other than the text that he posted um, in his video trying to smear me, he has not contacted me since then, no. I know it's not their job. Um, oh my gosh, guys. Uh, did Lainey genuinely want a relationship with you now? I have no idea what Lainey really wanted. It was a deflection tactic, very clearly. But I was 19 at the time. Like, it's just crazy to be painted as a pervert when, first of all, you didn't do anything, but also, you know, like a teenager talking to a teenager. I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me why he was under the impression that that would work. And I'm sure that it was just an intimidation tactic to be like, hey, you know, I can make you look bad too, but it's not just me coming out and speaking about the things that they've done. Um, I think that me being able to come out and say anything at all um, has inspired a lot of young women who have suffered through this to come forward and tell their stories and share what happened. <sighs> Oof. I need a new level. Greg gets scared of you. I don't think he should be scared of me. I think he should be scared of the truth. I have never done anything to Greg. I have never really been rude to him. I have never really done anything to him other than being vocal about the abuse um, that he so clearly associates himself with. I mean, the first time he went in a smear campaign, it's because I was public about some of the things that he did to my best friend, even when she wasn't, um, because he was trying so hard to make her look awful. Um, and I tweeted about how he tried to uh, chain her up in the basement for a week and make her shave her head and dye her hair moss green or get I'm a liar tattooed on her. He even cornered her in the 
garage once to try to convince her to get a tattoo and I came in shortly after and I was like this is not okay like and that's actually the day that we left <laughs> what was the last straw so for a long time I really was just too scared to say anything um, because after I said anything about what he had done to my best friend um, he went on this horrible smear campaign about how I'm, you know, a criminal and a degenerate and all of these things. Um, and I was scared. I mean, he made videos about me for over a year after I had even seen him. And I only met him one time. So it took a long time. I mean, it's been two years since this situation happened. Two, two years and a month, I think. But... For a year and a half of that, I was still, you know, on the front page of his YouTube or I was in his videos or he was referencing me in a lot of different ways. And I was scared because I don't know what he's capable of. Um... Why was Sarah under the nation? Ooh, I have no idea. Because that's what they said. Um. Oof. Standing up to is very great with me. It took a lot. I mean, to this day, it still takes a lot. It's only been a short time since I came out and I haven't really been sleeping because, you know, I know some of the girls that he's trying to blackmail and use information against to keep their silence. And it's scary. It's just like, I don't want him to try to ruin my life because I think that it's important that people know what he does to young women and what he tries to do to young women, though not always as successful as he would like to be. Um, I think he sees himself as a normal guy. Well, maybe he does. I feel like it would be scarier if he didn't realize what he was doing. I feel like it's pretty impossible to be so good at manipulating and doing it to so many people without even realizing. I don't even really think that that's the thing. How does he think any of this is okay? I really don't know. Um, I feel like for somebody who comes off as honest and moral and some white knight, um, it's pretty insane. I mean, he once posted an email he got from um, an ex-friend of mine on Twitter, like, trying to paint me as this awful person. I had to email him and uh, have him take it down because the email was from somebody who I knew in real life, um, but I had had to threaten to call the police on that person before uh, for showing up at my house. Um, and it was pretty clear then that if he has anything from anyone that you know that could put you in a bad light, whether or not that person is dangerous to you, he will use it. Um, and he acted like he was my hero for even taking down that post. Um, but also whenever he emailed me about um, asking me about the abuse that I suffered as a child, he uh, insinuated that, you know, I should be thankful that he hasn't said anything about that publicly online. And I know that that was just another tactic to get me to not say anything, um, but it's pretty scary. He goes through a lot of effort to make sure that these people are too scared to come forward. And a lot of them are. I'm sure that there's many people who won't even say anything about it because they're worried about what he's gonna do. And I knew going into this, um, that it would be really, really hard to do this and that he would go out of his way to try to make me look bad and make videos like the one that he posted trying to paint me as this awful person. Um, and I, I knew that from experience. He's done it to me before, um, but I realized that it was more important to come out and to speak about this so people will know what's going on instead of avoiding it to try to save myself.
I would rather, you know, go down in a blaze than let, you know, two or three or four more people go through this. It's not right and it's not okay. Did you help Billy out of the manipulation and help her leave? Yeah, I did. Because I noticed it a lot sooner than she did. Um, and for a long time, she was too deep in it to even do anything about it. So she needed some assistance, which I feel like is pretty typical um, for a lot of these girls. Because you don't even realize how deep in it you are until it's too late. It's weird he uses, he uses you to attack Richie and then attacks you himself. Yeah, I do think it's pretty crazy that whenever he was attacking Richie, he says that he defended me from blackmail from Richie and that, you know, Richie was going to come out and say all these bad things about me. And though Richie did threaten to blackmail me, um, so I wouldn't speak out about the fact that he had cheated on me so many times and he was looking for 18 year old girls. Um, you know, like Richie was trying to keep me quiet too, using the same tactics that Greg used because he's got such a large following. Oh, thank you for the bars. Um, but anyway, but he tried to defend me when Richie was trying to blackmail me. But now um, he himself is trying to blackmail all of these other girls. And I think it's so twisted and crazy that he acts like, you know, he's such this, you know, righteous person for defending me at any point. But he goes around and does the same thing to not only me, but to so many other people. I didn't offer anybody drugs. I smoke marijuana. We've been over that, but I don't go around handing people drugs. I don't even have any drugs. I mean, how was I even gonna get these drugs if I was locked in his house? That's what I wanna know. Well, I wasn't locked in. Let's, let's not misquote here. Clearly, I could have left because I did. Oh my goodness. How dare you smoke pot? I know. Crazy. They look worn down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, I didn't. Not a thing. I never hit on Sarah. <sighs> Vape queen, right? I'm jeweling. I'm jeweling so I can quit cigarettes, but I'm gonna quit jeweling also, in case anybody's worried about my, my lungs. I used to smoke cigarettes for a long time, um, but I haven't had a cigarette in a very long time now, um, so um, I'm doing better. <laughs> If you're ever in Arizona, I owe you a bowl. Ah, thanks. If I'm ever there, I'll come visit. I'm trying to quit smoking. So I have quit smoking, like, before. Um, but I actually worked at a restaurant um, that wouldn't let you have a break. Like, the only breaks you could get were smoke breaks. Um, so, you know, I had, smoked, I had smoked cigarettes before, and I was like, okay, well... If in the middle of my crazy shift I get five minutes to myself, if I smoke, then I'll smoke. Um, and I sort of, through that, just got re-addicted to them. Um, and that was about two years ago, I believe. So, yeah. Ah, I'm smoking a bowl for me now. Thanks. Pretty sweet. Um, she has very much separated herself from this situation. Um, and she's got no interest in diving back into it because... Clearly, they will never leave her alone, so. Um, 
what I think this is actually it's not even jewel juice. It's literally vape juice in a jewel. Um because jewel pods are expensive, so I just like take the, the thing off the top and I just put like the cheap regular vape juice in here. And it has less nicotine than jewel juice, so slowly but surely I'm weaning myself off. Um I think I won. I think I just won my gate. Oh, just kidding. We did it. Wow, there's just one peg that I missed. Ah, now I did it. What other red flags do you notice? Um, it's pretty, it's like typical language. I mean, he will offer financial gain or financial loss. Um, he will, you know, insult you or make fun of you or try to make you feel like you're doing something wrong if you're not acting the way that he wants you to. Um, it's a lot of different things. If you look up um, just manipulation tactics, um, which I was earlier today, actually, it's pretty like point blank, everything that he does, um, like victim blaming, deflection, all of those sorts of things. It's pretty, it's pretty cut and cut and dry. Uh, did he write your visit off for taxes? Um, I believe he did. Um, I know that he made a video with me, and that's normally all he needs to write off um, stuff in taxes. Um, so even in his video, when he said that he paid for my tickets, um, it's pretty typical for him to write things like that off on his taxes. So again, just another way to try to make me look like I was doing something that was wrong, I guess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's good. Billy's actually great. She's really happy now. She's been working a lot on her YouTube channel and trying out new things, and she's really a lot happier than she was. It's actually kind of great to see her doing so well, because for a long time she wasn't, for obvious reasons. Billy's flourishing. She is! She's living her best life these days. Her best life. Are you and Billy working? Um, actually, I have an interview on Tuesday for a new job, um, which is very exciting. And hopefully, they don't Google me right now because clearly Greg's off the handle, so I'd be pretty upset. <sighs> the last time that he contacted her was not 10 months ago. It was much more recent than that, but, you know, whatever. How's your music going? Really good, actually. I'm supposed to be um, recording some new stuff next weekend. Um, I think I'm going to be recording a cover and also putting together some of my original music, which I've been working very, very hard on. Why does he keep contacting her? Because he's obsessed. Oh my god. Um, he says things like, uh, he has dreams that won't go away and, you know, things like that. He once called me and essentially spoke to me nonstop for about an hour just about how, what well, started off like, oh, Lainey misses Billy and Lainey needs closure. And then he pretty quickly went into, or like Lainey has dreams about her all the time, pretty quickly into um, like, oh, I have dreams about her and I can't get her out of my head. Um, so he was using Lainey to try to say like, you know, she's the one who needed something. Um, but yeah, it's clearly him because he only talked about himself in the end. I'll let him make more videos. Billy is making videos.
do you know if more women will be coming forward? Truthfully, I hope that they do, but I know that not everybody is willing to go through um, what I'm already going through to try to take him down. It's pretty scary, um, especially when you are a young woman to have, you know, a 33-year-old man trying to essentially defame you. I mean, it's terrifying for me, and I'm a lot older now than I was the first time. I think you have to make cookies. I have not. Make some vlogs. I actually want to start making vlogs with Billy because we hang out a lot, and we do fun things, and I feel like it would be a great time. That's my best friend! I hope somebody caught a moment of that. <laughs> Me being gay as hell. Um. Uh, I don't really know the answer to some of these questions, guys. <sighs> oh. Craig says a lot about my best friend cheating, but that never happened. Not a real thing. You're Egyptian? Oh my goodness. That's really cool. guys i'm gonna be leaving uh, pretty soon here um so if you have any important questions i ask them now has laney ever talked bad about greg um yes um they're not publicly um <sighs> yes i was in contact with that young woman um in she contacted me herself, yes. So it was direct. Um, I don't think that they claim her on their taxes. We should do vlogs. Yay! Um, I am going to go to the police and bring them all of the information that I have. Um, but they are very careful about skimming that legal line. So I don't know that they will do anything about it, but I will be giving them all of that information just to make sure that they are aware. <laughs> He's the YouTube version of R. Kelly. I feel like I've seen that a lot. That's funny. Thank you for speaking out. Thank you for listening, truthfully, because it's very hard to do things like this. Um... <sighs> We never encouraged anybody to starve themselves. Billy and I have never had an eating disorder. We've never been diagnosed with an eating disorder or treated for an eating disorder. I'm 130 pounds right now at 5'6". I'm by no means underweight and I've been essentially this weight since high school. So, you know, it was pretty much just a part of the initial smear campaign, him saying that we starve ourselves and we've got all of these issues. Um, but... That uh, was never a real thing. Which my mom tweets about a lot, actually. My Every time my mom sees me eating, she'll tweet a picture of it because there have been so many rumors about me having an eating disorder because of Greg. Eddie, of course I'm cool with hanging out with you. Please come visit. Um... Is there anything that you haven't said because you've smeared? Um, there are things that I am not going to share because it has been requested of me not to share. Um, but no, there's no information that I have um, about them 
pertaining to me specifically that I have not um, at least tried to share. <sighs> but can mentally screw with you. Right. Well, it was pretty crazy for a couple months um, having my whole feed just being like, oh, stop starving yourself. Um, because if you look at me and you look at my body, I look pretty thin. Um, like, you can see my collarbones. Like, they stick out. Um, and my ribs stick out as well. Um, but I'm actually like a pear shape. So a lot of my weight is in my lower half. It's in my legs and in my butt. Um, and I don't post pictures of my butt, really. So it's kind of hard to tell that. I'm just, my weight's just on the bottom half of me. Um, oh my god, thank you so much, Jeff. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, ah, that's so crazy. Thank you. Are you subscribed? Of course I'm subscribed to PewDiePie. I literally made all of my friends subscribe to PewDiePie. I made Billy subscribe to PewDiePie. Billy wasn't subscribed to PewDiePie. And that's her greatest offense. Oh my god, thank you so much for the likes. Oh, <laughs> thank you guys so much. Um, yes, I am subscribed to PewDiePie. Subscribe to PewDiePie today, right now. All three. He better have 328 more subscribers because... I see y'all in here. Subscribe to PewDiePie. I love you too, guys. All right. Well, I think I'm going to be uh, be getting off here soon. Um, what questions should you stop asking? Um, truthfully, I don't mind you asking any specific questions. Um, there are just some questions that I don't really have a clear answer to. Um, I do not know every inner working of their marriage or what they talk about in private. Um, so there's only so much I can speak about truthfully, um, and I never have any intention of misrepresenting myself or them. Um, hey. You, you can be in here. You want to come say hi? Come say hello. Hello. This is Josh. Okay, bye. bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Does pot help with BPD? Sometimes. Um, marijuana has helped me um, in certain cases with my BPD. Um, other times, since it does make you a little paranoid, it can um, sort of negatively affect you. So it's really based on the mood that you go into it with. Um, if you're already... You know, if you're like a little anxious and you need to calm down, it is something that will really help. Um, but I wouldn't say to use it like if you're feeling dysphoric um, or anything like that. Like sometimes I have really bad dysphoria um, and smoking while I'm in those sorts of moods is not really a good idea. Um, are you smoking it now? No, this is a this is a jewel. It's got vape juice in it, not jewel juice, but yeah. Um, is there anything you can tell us about Lainey that would surprise us or that we should be aware of? Um, I don't really know that there's anything that would surprise you about her. Um, she is pretty similar to her online personality in real life. Dysphoric about what? Dysphoria is just a symptom of BPD. Um, BPD is a personality slash mood disorder. Um, so sometimes you can just go into these sort of low points um, and spiral yourself down to feeling really, really shitty. Um, yeah, but dysphoria, it's just, I mean, you can experience dysphoria and not have BPD, um, but it is a little more common to experience dysphoria if you have BPD. Dys dysphoria, not dysmorphia, dysphoria. Um... Oh wow, I live I live in Stafford, but I'm in Richmond right now. Please don't come here. I'm scared. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right guys. I think I'm going to be heading out. Um, but thank you guys so much. And I should be recording some new stuff this weekend for you. So there'll be happy positive uh content on my channel. So it's not all just this mess. Um and I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of the support, and I will see you next time.